golden rings around your head, now for sure. We don't see like ourselves anymore. Never really takes a lot to lose you. Make a wish on a fallen star. Wish I was who you wish I was. Never really takes a lot to lose you. I don't have to say a lot to lose you. Why can't you get a makeover at Macy's like all the normal girls? I'm jumpy. Are you back on regular coffee? No. I'm just getting to a groove and I'm working. Plus, I'm not used to my subjects grabbing me. And again, if you want to grab me, who am I to stop you? Sure, I'll grab you, but you're probably not going to like it. I know you know this, but I'm not supposed to have live girls in the embalming room. You never cared about the rules before. Anyway, I'm practicing. I don't think being dead is something you need to practice. Don't kick me out. You're gonna get me fired. Your boss wouldn't know a live girl from a coat rack. Yeah, well, let's not test that theory. Mmm, you know what I'm in the mood for? I'm afraid to ask. Young mother. Newlyweds, super emotional family. No. Can't you at least just tell me when? Uh, no. What about like a little funeral? Here's an idea. Why don't you go rent Terms of Endearment or Steel Magnolias? I've seen all those. My DVD rack is like a manic depressive's last cry for help. And still, not a tear. You'll be doing a public service. You'll be making me a whole person. Come on. I need it. I think someone's coming. Here it goes. <clears throat> that door was locked. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> wow, she's hot. I've never seen a hot dead girl before. Yeah, I was just uh, yeah, I see you're uh, finishing up here. Uh, I think yeah. you remember my nephews. Yeah. Good to see you guys. Nope, we don't touch the bodies. That's right, boys. This is the loved one of a client. Which client, Shane? Oh, um, this is the Carter's daughter. Right, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, whoa. Aren't you gonna pick those up? Yeah. Okay. I gotta say, there's uh, really some expert work there, Shane. Thank you. Okay, let's uh, let's go, boys. Oh, come on! No, 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 it's no, no, it's not in here. Okay, stop me. Come on. Thank you, Shane. Yeah. <sighs> One more funeral. No, go read the obituaries like a normal person. The obituaries are so hit and miss. Well, you know these families. Just give me one that's gonna rip my heart out. I appreciate your healthy respect for the funeral home business, for death even. 
but I am, as always, teetering on the brink of unemployment. And your visits are not helping. I'm not going to help you. Not this time. Absolutely, positively, categorically. No pain. No hardship. Anna is truly in a better place. I saw Anna at church every Sunday when she was a girl. This bright light was struck down in the very prime of her life by a tragic car accident. She was a charitable person, a devoted daughter and sister and friend. The day my daughter was born was the happiest day of my life until the next day and the day after that. I guess I should tell you who Anna really was. Anna was the goofiest girl I ever met in my life. The very first time I ever met her, she walked up to me in the hall of our dorm and kissed me on the mouth. She was a lot of things. She was a, she was a pink haired cheerleader in high school, a karaoke bully in college, an internet whiz kid who couldn't calculate a tip to save her life. She was bold and unafraid. Always the first one out on the dance floor to party. Using her, her bad French wherever she went in Paris. And loving the people in her life with great abandon. I know that a day won't pass for me without picturing her lopsided smile. And the world's a lesser place for having lost her. Good of you to come. Oh, I, uh, um, I, I liked what you said. I don't think I've ever met you before. I thought I knew all of Anna's friends. No, we haven't met. Um, I'm Karis. Hi. What was that? I don't know. Something fall? No, I don't think so. I thought I saw something. Will you, will you help me look for it? I don't see anything. Just one. So. You must be a friend of the family. Uh, yes, exactly. A friend of the family's. Good friend of the family's. Known them for years. You must have heard a lot of shit about me then. Mmm, no. No, I didn't. Tyler. Here come in his parents now. <laughs> Who are. Ah, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Shh, you're okay. Tyler, could you give us a moment, please? Hey. Okay, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. Karis, you okay? I can't go. Excuse me? I think I should just stay right here. Well, maybe a stroll will do you good. Oh, oh, oh. hey. Oh, honey. You okay? Karis? Oh. You okay? I'm sorry, I'm fine now. Yes, thank you. Let's go outside. Okay. Okay. So I guess you're gonna ride to the cemetery with the family? No. Oh, well, you know, I hadn't planned on it. Well, you brought your own car? Oh, good. I could use a break. Where are you parked? Oh, you know what? It's a bit of a walk, oh, so... Oh, it's... fresh air will do us good. Okay. You were Anna's boyfriend? She never mentioned me? 
Yes, no, 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 she did, just in more general terms. What terms are those? Well, the usual, that you were sweet and romantic and that she loved you, that you had a really, really big gun. Um... That, that sounds like her. She used to always say things are bigger in Texas. You don't sound like you're in Texas. Austin. It's not all Howie's and y'all's down there, you know? Where's your car? Right here. It wasn't that far. I need to see Emma. Please, I need to see her again. Mary, I'm sorry. Where's her ring? Where's her ring? Where's the ring? What? Her engagement ring is missing. Oh my goodness, that gorgeous ring. Where's her ring? What's going on? Her ring, her, her, her engagement ring's under her hand. You better talk to them right now. These funeral home guys, they're all crooks. Poor fiance, can you imagine? Losing Anna and now this. Poor fiance, nothing. Don't tell me you haven't heard the rumors about what happened. Where's the ring? Uh, what ring? She had an engagement ring on when she came in. Uh, we'll look in her list of possessions, but she has to have any jewelry she was brought in with. Well, that's the thing. She doesn't have all the jewelry that she was brought in with. We'll be happy to look into that with you at the funeral home after the service. You better believe it. Okay. Can you do me a favor and Come in with me. I mean, it'll only take a minute. Oh, you know what? I really have to be getting home. I know, I know. I'm sorry, but I have to get a ring back. Tyler, I can explain. It was an accident. I um. Oh, good. I'm so so. I, I. Oh, I have something in my eye. You okay. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. You just need to get it. I'll. I'll you know what? I'll meet you there in a second. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Sorry. You got a minute? I want to ask you something. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> You're quick. In more ways than one. Name's Varnes. Oh, just the person I was looking for. Sorry, not interested. Let's go, please. <laughs> Don't you want to know who he is? I don't think I can take any more surprises this evening. Irving acted all concerned, checked his records, said the ring was locked. He doesn't know what happened to it. Criminal. Well, maybe he's telling the truth. She loved that ring more than she loved me. She never took it off. I brought her in with it. I know it was on her hand. Man. You were with her when she died? I'm sorry, that must have been terrible. A little bit parched. Thirsty? Let's just drop all the grieving conversation for a second. Do you have any pets? I have a high-strung roommate with an eating disorder. Does that count? You might. <laughs> How about you? I have a short, portly dog of questionable disposition. Terrier. French Bulldog. I wanted Scotty growing up. But we never had any pets. That's crazy. We got laws against that in Texas. Every kid has to have a dog. <laughs> Where'd you grow up, anyway? San Diego. There's lots of open space there. Lots of yards. Oh, well, my parents just thought it would be untidy. Well, that's for sure, because I can't wear anything for more than 
10 minutes before Rowdy slobbers all over her, puts his dirty paws on her, and his very worst days, bites a damn hole in it. So, she's seen. Do you see your parents a lot? Well, the truth is, no. I hardly ever see them. I never ever see them. It's too charged a subject to discuss with strangers, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we're strangers. Tyler Cormier. Kara's right, man. You know, I, I never even heard a word about you from Anna, not even a whisper. You know what, about that, I am. No, it's okay. I mean, Anna and I both had our own secrets. I guess she just wanted you to be one of hers. It's getting late. Town with what's his name? We broke up. Typical. Did I scare you? No. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that. Nice black dress. Funerals again, huh? You're never gonna feel anything. You're broken inside. Get over it. We're roommates in least obligation only. My personal life is none of your business. Ghoul. Puritan. Vampire. Pollyanna. Completely hungover. Hair of the dog, bro. Hair of the <laughs> dog. Hey, Karis. Mm. Good morning. Mm. Hey there. So, how are we doing? Good. We'll be done for dress rehearsal next week. You have a good weekend? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> well, I think they're rehearsing the ending today. Mm-hmm. You know your favorite scene? The tragic, heart-wrenching, soul-killing ending. Mm. Yeah! <laughs> you told me you were stealthy coming in. Like a ninja. I know that now that my boss thinks you're a corpse, he's probably gonna have to find a different place for us to hang out. You were right about that funeral yesterday. Probably shouldn't have gone. There was, um, an accident. What do you mean there was an accident? I was leaning over her, Anna, and she just reminded me of, I held her hand and, and her, um. No. Her ring just Don't say slipped another word. off in my hand. Have you lost your mind? Her henchman of a boyfriend came in here and threatened to take us to court until we're so broke, we end up burying our clients in burlap sacks. You have to understand, it's not his fault, it's my fault. Exactly. And now I'm gonna get fired because of it. Why? You didn't do anything wrong. I'm the reason you were there, trespassing at the funeral, where you just so happened to steal some very expensive jewelry. Calm down. I thought we could just return the ring. Return the ring? Yeah. Just give it back to her. Back to Anna Williams. The dead girl, who we buried yesterday. You've got all the equipment. Couldn't we just... Couldn't we just, what, dig her up and then slide the ring back on her finger? Do you know how much that equipment costs? Could you imagine what would happen if her family came to visit and her grave was above ground and you and I just happened to be giving back her jewelry? That's it! We go in the middle of the night! Stop talking right now. We cannot return the ring to the dead girl. Now you're gonna have to get it and give it back to her family or her fiance or whoever you like and explain yourself. Okay, well, how am I gonna do that? 
I can't just be like, oops, look what I found in my pocket. I can't just find the ring here. The family will think we're thieves. I know it's strange, but corpse robbing funeral homes actually don't get a lot of business. Karis? Hi. It's weird that I'm here, isn't it? Weird? No. You just slammed the door in my face. It slipped. How'd you find me? I, I looked you up. You have a very unique name. Can I come in? In here? Sure. Sorry. Have a seat. Thanks. You know what? It's good that you're here, actually. It is? There's something I need to tell you. Have you ever had an unusual hobby? Well, I like to needlepoint. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start over. My sister died young, younger than Anna. Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. It must have been so hard for you to go to Anna's funeral. I mean, first your sister and then your good friend. That's why you were acting so funny. You know what? About that, um... No, stop. You don't have to explain anything to me. You helped me yesterday when I needed it. I, I was so low. I don't know how I would have gotten through the day without you. Tyler, I have to apologize to you. Can I ask you a question? Sure. It's been a terrible week. You know, like a heart-wrenching, not sure how you're going to get through a kind of week. So if you're going to say anything at all that's going to make me feel worse, even just a little bit worse, can it wait? I don't think I could take it. Sure. You know, actually, I came over here to ask you for a favor. You did? Another favor. <laughs> I have to go to Anna's parents' house for dinner. Uh-huh. And I don't think I can face him alone. Um, dinner. Dinner with Jim and Mary. John and Mary. Right. I call him Jim. <laughs> it's a nickname. It's a long story. <laughs> Please tell me you'll come to dinner. I can't. I actually have quite a lot of work. Um, you know, we're building a new set, so I'm modeling the entire thing back there on my computer right now. It's crazy. I understand. It's... <laughs> Yeah, it's funny, I don't even know you. But it feels like you're the only friend I've got. You know, like the only person who really knows what I'm going through because you loved her too. I wish I could. I would, if I could, go to their house with you. I, no, I, I, I understand. It'll probably be miserable anyway. Yeah. No, I mean. <sighs> Do you mind if I use your bathroom before I, I go? No, the bathroom's right there. Tyler, wait! My, my room is a mess. But don't, don't clean up my account. I guess, I guess I 
should say adios. This will probably be the last time we see each other. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Thank you for your help yesterday. It was a pleasure meeting you. You too. You know, maybe I could go to dinner. Here we go. Hi. Thank you for coming. Come on in. Tyler. Hi. Um, you are... Doing good. So good to see you. Can I give you a hand in there? No. Thank you. Uh, we saw you at the funeral. I know. It's been a while. Let's not let it go so long next time. How you doing? Oh, I'm trying to cope. Hello, Marissa. How are you? I feel ill. I'm sorry to hear that. You're at the funeral. How did you know Anna? <sighs> How did I know Anna? Gosh, it's been a while. Well, it wasn't from college. I was at Brown with my sister. And I would have remembered you, yeah. No, it wasn't at college. Oh, definitely not at college. It was here, here in LA. We uh, took a class together. What sort of class? Uh, art class. Anna was taking an art class? She never mentioned anything about that. I'm sure she was good. She had that artistic flair. Yes, I'm sure she was good. Yeah. You know, I'm just wondering Do you have how... Do the bathroom I could use? Embarrassed. He came here with a date. Marissa, calm down. Tyler, you know why we asked you here. I'm pretty sure I do. It's awkward to discuss this so soon. But we need to talk to you about the money. Good, because I want to talk to you too. Well, it's difficult for us to ask, but we feel that Anna's money should go to her family. I wish it were that easy. But she left me as the executor, and, and I take that responsibility very seriously. Well, we think you should resign as executor and let us take over. <gasps> what was that? Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that? Just, just uh, let, let's stay focused. OK, all right, all right. Obviously, Anna thought that she was going to be married to you for 50 years before she died, but that didn't happen. And you were not married. You were her boyfriend. Her fiance. And it was very clear what you wanted. This is the last thing I can do for her. And I'm gonna do it. Anna didn't know about our financial difficulties. Well, for a close family, you sure have a lot of secrets. Oh, who are you to talk about secrets? I know what you did. Look, you're upset, and I understand. I wish that there was something I could do. I should probably go. I called the police. We've discussed this before. You're tired. We're not going through this again. Please, Marissa, just go to the safe deposit box. We'll go to the box when we're ready to go through her effects. No, sir, it has to be Marissa. There you are. We should go. Thank you very much for having us over. It was nice to see all of you again. It was great, thanks. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bringing you here was inconsiderate. I mean, I think I jeopardized your relationship with them. They were frosty to you. Oh, don't worry about that. So what the hell happened in there? It, it's complicated. It just... <clears throat> Told you would be miserable, though. Yeah, I was expecting miserable. But, you know, I'd at least let there be food. <laughs> Anna was so... Ambivalent about her money, you know, working for that startup that went public. I think she just saw all those dot-commers and their ridiculous cash. 
You know she was. Yeah. I mean, you know what she wanted to do with her money. Gosh, I mean, you know, so many ideas. Not really, I mean, it's a gimme. What was she nuts about? Oh, nuts about, oh, nuts about, nuts about. She wanted her money to go to the Children's Fund for cancer research. Well, I mean, Children's Fund, of course. I, I just don't see how our parents can't respect that. They're upset, they're strapped. And the fact that I'm the bearer of bad news doesn't help matters. She was really clear about what she wanted from me. You know, I don't see how I could do anything differently. Thank you for coming. I promise I will never ask you to go to their house again. Thank you for that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. I mean, you and Anna were so different. I'm surprised you were friends at all. How different? Night and day. Again, it just happened. Here we go. Oh my god. That was really romantic. Looks like he really likes you. Shut up. Before you have sex, I'd have an ambulance on standby. Always. You look different. You look sad. Thin, but sad. Leave me alone. You are sad. I didn't think you had it in you. Neither did I. It would never have worked anyway. The entire thing was built on a bald-faced lie. I mean, every word you ever said to him was untrue. No, I lied to him about why I was at the funeral, but it was more than that. Everything else was true. Oh, really? So he knows you still have his fiance's ring? OK, not everything. But I'm waiting for the right time to tell him. Well, I'm sure that's going to go over really well. Stop, you're making me feel even worse. He kissed me and then threw up. Do you even know what that's like? Unfortunately, I think I do. I mean, maybe not full vomiting, but, you know, at least a uh, gag reflex. So I was thinking about going to see my parents. Has going to see them ever helped you in any way? No. But I thought, you know, I'm different now, so maybe we could relate to each other better. Mm. I mean, they are my parents. I advise against it. I know. In the strongest possible terms. <laughs> Tell me, what have you been up to? Your father and I have really missed you. Well, I've uh, sort of met someone, and it's, you know, brought up a lot of stuff. A romantic someone? I don't know. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, that's wonderful. You deserve to be happy. Thank you. Thanks. Have you known him long? Uh, no. What, um, I wanted it to, uh... Well, well, how did you meet him? It's a long story. Well, what I'm trying to talk to you about is... What's he like? Mom, I'm, tr I'm trying to talk to you. Well, we are talking. Do you ever think about her? About him? Mom, do you ever think about her? Would you like some tea? Oh, I think I'm gonna have some. No, I don't, I don't need any tea. <laughs> I suppose no one ever really needs tea. Mom, just forget the tea. But what about some juice? Be very good for your skin. Mom, look at me. <sighs> you know what would be nice? Some cookies. Cookies? Did I hear someone say cookies? Hi, sweetie. Hi, Dad. Hey, 
Hey, it's Shane. Give me a call. Karis, it's Tyler. Um, my portly dog and I are going to be in your neighborhood tomorrow by no coincidence whatsoever, and we wanted to see if we could stop by. Give me a ring back. My number is... Karis, it's Tyler. Um, my portly dog and I... Does he fetch? He doesn't fetch. But I do. I've been thinking a lot about Hannah's ring. I really don't know what to do about it. I mean, do I press charges? Do I sue? You know what I think would just be great, karmically speaking? You know, just to let it go. Huh? It's gonna come back to you. What do you mean? The ring or the karma? Both. Because, you know, the wheel of life is turning. So then I would go back to her grave. Yeah, I mean, it takes people a while. Not that I'm an expert or anything. God, the end was so terrible. The very end? I leaned over the other day to kiss you. It felt really strange, but, but there was a part of me that felt really happy to be free, you know, to be about to kiss you. And then I felt guilty. And then I felt sick. Terrible, terrible thing to say. Can you look at me in the same way? There they are. Wait, did it look like this? Well, I only noticed it when I was shattering to bits. <laughs> All right, let's get this one. This one? Sure. How's it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it. What the f happened to my thinning mirror? <laughs> you better sleep with your eyes open. <laughs> If I've told you once, I've told you a million times. I know. Don't sneak. But I didn't sneak. I walked boldly and forthrightly. I did not sneak. And no one saw you come in? No one whose story would be believed. <sighs> Wonderful. <sighs> what is it? What's what? What is it that you're obviously dying to tell me? Tyler and I. At what point did you and I develop this sort of talky, open, girly relationship. I think this is it. What? You know it. No, actually, I don't know what it is. Oh, don't make me say it. I'll go you in better. I beg you not to say it. I think I... <laughs> I think I'm in... All right, that's enough. Have you even told him the truth yet? I don't think that matters anymore. Really? Well, if he's never felt this way about anybody, and if he's opening up a whole new world of feelings for me, then what does it matter if we met through a mix-up? A mix-up standing a little softly, don't you think? It's a bit muted, I guess. A bit muted? Yeah, I could see that's how he'd see it. You know, a bit muted compared to actual events. You have to be honest with him. Once he says he loves you, that's it. There's no going back from that. You can't just be like, oh, sorry, uh, everything I've told you since we first met is actually a complete lie. Okay, you're right. I have to tell him. I will tell him. I'm going to tell him. <sighs> I'm going to tell him.
need your help. Pardon me? <laughs> I need your help with, um, shopping. Well, shouldn't you just go to Goths or us and be done with it? I'm not a Goth. I'll buy you Jenny Craig dinners for a week. Six. Two. Four. Done. I'll go change. I'm not going in there. This transformation has arrived just in time. I don't want to say that black has always made you look overtired and pasty, but you really need to put some color on before the infatuation phase wears off and he really sees your many physical flaws for the first time. Okay, just because you've racked up a slew of angry ex-boyfriends doesn't make you the expert on dating. You've seen the dating commercial sites. It's about quality, not quantity. Let's go in. Fine. Like I said, overtired and pasty. Can I help you find something? Yes, my um, roommate is looking for a new wardrobe. Hmm. Great boobs, tiny waist, slim hips. We have a ton of things that will look fantastic on you. Bitch. No, not you. I'm sure you're super nice. I look like a Christmas tree. I think you should get it. No, I have to draw the line somewhere. Oh, my God. This one? No pink! Buy a frickin' outfit and let's move on. Can you put that on hold for me? That'll be $986.43. This turnaround's becoming an expensive little proposition for you. I give it a two. A two? A two? You're talking about a cult classic here. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Who's afraid of a tomato? Best part about it was the title. Oh, God, this I see. We're going to have to continue your cinematic education. I think we're going to have to continue your education. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. It doesn't sound half bad. Excuse me, what I wouldn't give for a little post makeout vomiting right now. She's just still mad about the mirror. Oh, the mirror. Hey, isn't that the guy from the funeral? Hey, 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 hey! Come back here! Was his name like Varnes or something? I don't know. My life just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What's going on? You know, I'm going to beat. I think I'm going to go home. You don't want to come in? Because I actually needed to talk to you about some stuff. I know. I, I'm going to take a rain check. How about two o'clock? Great. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Can I help you? Hi, I'm here to tell her. Hey. Hey, I just thought I'd stop by. Nice. Just give me a minute. Junkie's dream come true, huh? <laughs> You don't have to watch this if it makes you squeamish. I'm fine. And I could never... I'm sorry. I, I keep talking about her. Don't be silly. You're thinking about her. It's natural. Thank you. Yeah, she could never watch this. It makes me sad to think about all the things she didn't get to try or do or places she didn't get to go. We were going to go to India. She wouldn't see the Taj Mahal. Every year, I'll get older. 
Further away from her, I'll be 30, 40, 60. She'll always be 28. Can't understand. Like, my parents are cheerful people, like aggravatingly cheerful people. When my sister died, oddly enough, that didn't change. I didn't even know she was sick until she was hospitalized. And then afterwards, you know, there was whispers behind closed doors or red eyes at the breakfast table, but my parents never lost their composure. They never doubted that it was all just part of some master plan. And we never even had a funeral for her. We're supposed to just move on and let go of the negativity. I still think about her in the middle of the night. I think I see her walking down the street. I never really got to say goodbye, so. My point is that if you, you know, want to go to the cemetery, I'll go with you. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. You know, I'd love to see some of your artwork. My artwork? Yeah, from the class you took with Anna. I mean, is it painting or is it pen and ink, sculpture? What was it? Oh, my artwork, what was it? Um, it was painting. Yeah, I want to call the school, see if they have anything left of Anna's. I mean, I'd love to have it as a keepsake, you know? You know what? I actually have some of her stuff that I can just give you. No, I wouldn't dream of taking yours. She gave it to you. I mean, you never know. I'm sure they have something. So, how long have you guys been painting? Oh, gosh, six years? Ah, uh, 10 years. Uh-huh. So, you know, if I wanted to take a crash course in painting, what would you recommend? Wait, you want to paint? <laughs> You do tiny, perfect dioramas. I mean, you can't even draw a stick figure. It's easy. It is. It is? You paint the masterworks. It's like Mona Lisa, or the dancers, or, or Starry Night, or whatever style you like, and then you learn from the masters in that field. But I could do that. You're a painter? Yeah, apparently. $436. Sister, that's not going in my living room. All right, the bathroom. All right. <sighs> Tyler, I... I have something I have to tell you. The sets are great. And the sets, the sets are very first part. I love them. I absolutely love them. You know what? Tonight was so great, which makes this even harder to say. Can you get that? I won't. I just screwed. Hold on one second. Hey. Hi. Mar Marissa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, calm down. Marissa, you, hey, you don't mean that. Listen to me. Listen to me. You just have to go to the safe deposit. Never mind, Marissa. She hung up. What was that about? Nothing. You know what? Anna was your friend. You have a right to know. What am I talking about? Actually, I'm sorry. What were you saying? She thinks I 
have killed Anna. What? That's ridiculous. I mean, you could never... I know. I knew there was something I didn't like about that guy. What can you tell me about him? Have you seen anything suspicious in his house? I've actually never been to his house. Well, obviously you need to stop seeing him. Anna's sister's sick with grief. I saw her. She's not well. The suspicious thing's nothing. I can't believe you're dating a murder suspect over me. <laughs> Shane, you and I... Going to a mortician's conference next month. And we could never... Beautiful downtown Cleveland. It's more like... I don't know why we never get Miami or... Like friends. Las Vegas. I'd even settle for Philadelphia. Not Philadelphia would be nice. What the hell are you wearing, anyway? She just needs someone to blame. For me, it was my sister's doctors. I mean, you can't be hurt by it because it just helps her to believe that. No. What's that? Open it up and see. I was going to take you to hear some Texas music tonight. I didn't think you'd have the right shoes. <laughs> but we don't have to go. No, no, I want to go. Let me change. I'll be a minute. Thank you. Welcome. I'm going to steal Willie Nelson's For one, I'm very grateful for that fact because I don't want to go to a North Dakota music festival. 
But seriously, though, I'm so glad you came. I got to share one of my favorite watering holes with you. My grandmother, born and raised in Lubbock, she used to say to me, she'd always say, you ain't never gonna love a place other than Texas. And you ain't never gonna love anyone who ain't a Texan. But she was wrong. California's so pretty. Places are places. But I'm in love with you. Babe, there's no pressure. Don't say anything. I'm just telling you how I feel. No, I do. I love you. I... It's a modern day Anthony and Cleopatra. Our sets are gonna reflect the lover's inner emotional state. It's big and bold and passionate. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thanks. Hi. Hey. What's going on? How can we never go to your place? That's easy. It's a mess. Yours is much nicer. I don't mind a mess. Come on, let's eat. Garlic. <laughs> oh, my. Is that one of yours? Yes, it's... Really awful. That is. Can I have one from my office? Oh, that reminds me. I need a pen. Ow! Ow! Uh, what are you doing? Babe, give me my hand. Sorry. <sighs> the pens are in here. You're very protective of your office supplies. Honey, I'm a vet. I have to operate with this hand. You can call it a hand now. It's more like a club. Yes, I always saw Karis Reitman? Yeah. I'm uh, Detective Grayson. This is Detective Daniels. Mr. Cormier, hello again. Hello. Do you guys mind if we come inside? I couldn't just wait until the morning. Okay, come in then. <laughs> Ms. Ryman, we have questions about Anna Williams' death. Now, we've already spoken with Tyler here. We're hoping that you might give us any additional information. I doubt I could be of any help. It's according to uh, Tyler, you were very good friends with Anna. Yeah, I mean, we weren't best friends or anything. We took um, a class together. You know, we were friends and we had a common interest in, in art. And that was the extent of it. Did she ever express any concern for her safety? Her safety? Specifically, did she ever mention being afraid of anyone? Or did she worry that her money could have made her a target for someone unscrupulous? No. Did you ever see her take drugs? Did she seem to have a substance abuse problem? No, I, I, mean, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I wasn't a confidant. It's kind of funny that you'd end up dating your friend's fiance. How long have you and Tyler here been together? You know, we're not doing anything wrong. And I don't like the tone of your questions. <laughs> Maybe we can take you down to the station house and ask you questions there. We can do that. Right? Yeah, that's a great idea. What do you say? Take me. You come down and see us when you're alone. We'll see ourselves out. They came by last week. I guess it's never a good time to say that you're officially a suspect in your fiance's death. Ridiculous. You were very good, though. Very forceful. I'm not gonna get pushed around by a beat cop. You sound like a hard criminal. Well, you know, I have some traffic tickets and shoplifted as a teenager. 
and jaywalk. You're a dangerous woman. I told you those things you don't know about me. I need to talk to you. You didn't know Anna, did you? You never even met her. How'd you know? My sister didn't know Matisse from Mickey Mouse. Believe me, this is all a really big misunderstanding. It's more than a misunderstanding. But thank God you know, because I... Save it. I hired a private investigator because my parents didn't believe me. He's seen you and Tyler everywhere together. How long have you been plotting this? Wait, what? Did she find out? I, I don't... Is that why I had to kill her? Kill her? Oh, my God, you've got this all wrong. I have not... I don't think so. Anna was acting strange before she died. Different. She seemed scared all the time. Low energy, depressed. It's because she knew about you, wasn't it? I met Tyler at Anna's funeral. You have the wrong idea about all this. Right. And you've fallen in love in six weeks. My sister and I were best friends. We talked all the time. And then she started changing. The last thing I heard from her, she was going away for the weekend with Tyler. And the next thing I knew, she was dead. Who killed her? Did you do it? Did he? There's no point lying anymore. Marissa, this is crazy. I think you should go. Well, you're going down one way or another. Watch your back. You could be next. Okay, let me get this straight. You're dating a murderer. Now the dead girl's family is convinced that you helped bump her off. It's not funny. No, actually, as a matter of fact, it's not funny. Have you seriously considered the fact that your life could be in danger? Stop. You don't even know Tyler. It's not possible. I can't leave you right now. I'm afraid when I come back, you're either going to be dead or serving a life sentence. Very funny. Look, you should just come with me to the conference. You know, I hear Cleveland is supposed to be mildly interesting. Look, this whole thing has just been blown out of proportion. The fact that Tyler and I are even together is what makes him seem guilty. That's all it is. I mean, no one even believes that we met at the funeral. You should follow him. I'm not gonna follow him. Yes, you should follow him. For a couple hours, if there's nothing wrong, you just put it all behind you. <sighs> okay, put the whole thing behind me. Now I don't have to follow him. Well, at least promise me you'll pay attention to the patterns, okay? Because serial killers follow them. <laughs> so now, what's the last thing he did with Anna? Um, well, Marissa said they went out of town together. So you don't leave the city limits? And just to play it safe, don't do anything to make him angry. And whatever you do, don't tell him about the ring in the throes of a confessional urge. Jesus Christ, you've gone this long. This whole thing is ridiculous. Look, I just don't want to be the one to put the final makeup on you.
wear some chains? Yeah. Thanks. to hear you. Are you whispering? Yeah, my throat hurts. So I'm saving it. My voice. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Where are you? Where do you think I am? I'm working. At the clinic? That's where I work, babe. Hey, when can I see you? I don't know. I think I may be getting sick. You know, I think I heard something outside. Can, can you hold on a sec? Oh, fuck. Hello? Go away! Are you hearing impaired? Have you ever dated somebody and it just wasn't quite right? Is there any other way? Okay, I mean, say that you thought something specific was wrong, like you were, um... You know, jealous. You're jealous? Is he cheating on you? No, Tyler's not cheating on me. I just, I, I needed some dating advice. And, and you've slept with so many people that I just, I mean, you've dated so many people that I just thought that if anyone should know, you would know. He is cheating on you. He's a dog. No, he's not a dog. I just, how do you know that you can trust someone? Don't trust him. Don't believe a word he says. That is the first rule. Now, do you have any evidence of his misdeeds, or is it just a general feeling? I don't know what to do. Do you know the girl? I mean, how do you know that you can really believe someone? Believe the worst. OK, this isn't working. I should say not. Poor girl. Let me know if you catch him in bed with her or something. Glad I could brighten your day. I don't even need this. Hi. How are you feeling? You don't look sick. I'm not sick. And you weren't at the office the other day when you called. How do you know? Where were you? You following me? I was jealous. You don't seem like the jealous type. What were you doing at your house? There's a drug that we use for surgery. And it expires, and our supply levels have been a little bit off, so I'm worried that someone in the office has sticky fingers, and it's a very dangerous drug. So I decided to take it home until Biohazard could pick it up at the end of the month. So why'd you lie to me? I was screwing with you. I could see you in my yard. What? Yeah, babe, you're not exactly a ninja. I saw you, and I called you. When I came out, you were gone. <laughs> and then you wouldn't take any of my calls. OK, but what's with your house? It's so not a mess. Babe, that was my house with Anna. I mean, we were going to get married in the backyard. I mean, I'm going to sell that house, but until I do, I want to keep it as something of hers. I mean, maybe, maybe you and I could get a place to start fresh. Oh, of course. I missed you. I missed you, too. Hmm. Hmm. 
Drüben. I have a surprise. Surprise? Mm -hmm. We are going to Santa Barbara right now. Oh! Oh. You know, I, I really can't. It's beautiful. It's romantic. It's secluded. It's the perfect place to go for a weekend. You know what? I really have a lot of work stuff to do, so I... Do it on work time. Do you want to come away with me? I do. But you know what? Right now, it's just not the right time. I... If you're sure, I'll call you later, okay? I don't think you should worry about it. Worry about what? Not going away with him. I mean, let's face it, you're not the kind of girl who ends up with the guy. You're gonna get exactly what you deserve. You're gonna end up utterly and completely alone. You'll die alone. And knowing you, that's probably just the way that you want it. Tyler, wait! Tyler! It's so beautiful out here. I know, isn't it? Go inside. I'll get our bags. some new piece of evidence or something, so they're actually digging her up. How is that good news? Now you can return the ring. I'm kidding. Hello? <gasps> Do you think you know about the exhumation that was happening this weekend? I don't know if you knew about them. <sighs> oh. We are finally here. And we're not going anywhere for three whole days. You want to get that? Nah. Mm. Let me get some wine, okay? Okay. I have something I want to talk to you about. <gasps> he found the ring. Everything okay in there? Remember when I said I wanted to talk to you about something? You know, I'm actually not really into threesomes. Actually, that's not it. Role play. Light bondage. All right, all right. You're not in the mood for serious conversation. Yes. Hope you're hungry. Now, can we talk? You know, we could use some more firewood. Some more firewood? I mean, you planning on building a second story? I just think a great big fire would be so romantic. You ready for that fire? You know, I I'm feeling a little sleepy. Maybe tomorrow.
with him? Yes, what's happened? Mm. Anna was killed with sodium pentobarbital. It's the drug they used to put down dogs. Oh. Hello? <sighs> Hello? Hey, you okay? Shh, one second. You all right? That's what I saw. That's what he put in his safe. Jarris, you okay? Fine! I'll be back in a second. Listen to me. It wasn't an accident. She was drunk before Karis, she got in that car. What, what are you doing? Karis, Who is that? I'm great. Uh, uh, just go back to bed, babe. Where are you? What's going on in there? Where are I you? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere off the 101. Like, exit 140 in, like, a little cabin. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm calling the cops right now. Karis. Just, uh, I don't know. Uh, act natural. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Ah! Karis. Who's that? Lila. At 4 a.m.? She's having guy problems. She's a bit of a slut. Come on, come back to bed. You know, I'm not really feeling that tired anymore. You go, and I'll, um, I'll come in a minute. <sighs> come on. What's wrong? You look stressed. Why'd you bring me here? Sugar, it's the middle of the night. I'm exhausted. Let's talk about this tomorrow, okay? Come on, come on, come on. There you are. Been looking all over for you. I went on a walk. It's so great up here. Yeah. Maybe we should be heading home. We just got here. So, where are we exactly? I know, it's pretty tucked away, isn't it? Hmm. Ready to go back? Yeah. You're gonna love this. What are you looking for? You seem so distant. Nobody, nothing. It's getting dark. Well, we've got it covered. What's wrong? It's so beautiful. I don't know why you bothered. Come on. You know why. Yeah, I know why, and I deserve it. I just never thought you would be so cruel. Cruel? You think this is cruel? figured it out, but I can't say I'm not a bit disappointed. Now, can we just go back to the cabin? Come on, let's go. I've known something about you for a little while. How long? Long enough. Practically since we met. Why didn't you just say something? Call me old-fashioned, but I just don't think that's the way things should be done. I mean, I like a little suspense, don't you? I know this isn't going to change anything, but will you at least let me explain? There's nothing to explain. I've known this for a while. I never ever since heard I met you, you, I knew. That was before I knew. I knew you, you I were the one. I mean, sure, you don't that. make it easy. And you you're the first person to I love so them. You're the only sorry. person I've ever so felt this sorry. way about. I mean, I want to spend the I rest never knew of it. my I'm life sorry. with you. I'm sorry, I stole her ring. Were you married? I don't know. <laughs> what? You, 
You didn't know her? I mean, what do you mean you didn't know her? Like, like you never met her? No. But I went to the funeral before I knew you, and then, and then I had to lie because I, I felt a connection to you. We talked about her every day. You were lying the whole time. Like all of that was a, all that was a lie. No, not all of it. You had a ring. But you know that you have it. This, this, I bought this for you. I can't, can't believe you. You lied about everything. I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> Let her go. Let the girl go. You're under arrest what? for the murder of Anna Williams and the attempted murder of Karis Reitman. No, I don't think he was trying to kill me. You don't think I was trying to kill you? Cops in L.A. got a tip. They found the drugs used to kill Anna Williams, and you're safe. You weaseled your way. Into the funeral, you lied to me and her family. You stole her ring. I stole her ring. Tyler, please talk to me. Oh, please, please. Oh, please. How could you think I killed her? I could kill anyone? I don't know. I just... You were so perfect. I didn't think that could happen to me. I know you hate me. Just let me tell you my side of the story, okay? This way. Hi. Hi. Why didn't you tell us? Anna wanted to be the one. I couldn't look at her safe deposit box before, but when I heard about the cancer, I went. I read her note. Good. I was hoping you'd go sooner rather than later. Like before I got the death penalty. She explained how great you were to her. How amazing. You were the only person who knew. It was a really private thing to her. I can't believe everything we've put you through. If we'd had any idea she was sick. I'm sorry you had to be the one. She didn't want your parents to find out that way. No, oh, of course, of course. My God, they're so religious. Just tell me she didn't suffer. She begged me to do it, and I was horrified. She was in so much pain. I finally realized it was the right thing to do. So when she was ready, we had a great day. Last dinner together, I drove her car to the canyon. She took the tranquilizers. She died in my arms. I sent the car off the edge so that the way she really died would be her own secret. Thank you. You risked your life to preserve her memory. That's what you wanted me to do. I, I gave the cops her suicide note. I told them you had nothing to do with it. So, um... Sir? Sir? Please, Tyler, wait. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'll have a driver take you back. No, thank you. I'm good. How much to bail her out? You want to bail her out? How much? Eight hundred dollars. Don't even think about it. It's okay. Pay the clerk. Do me a favor. Don't let her out until I'm gone. Thank you.
take you home. I uh, brought you some cookies. Your favorites. So why'd you come over? Oh, when I called, you wouldn't come to the phone. I spoke to your roommate and... Sounded like you might need me. Daughters do need their mothers occasionally. So, Mom, how can we never go to Sandrine's grave? Sandrine was cremated. Right, that's not the point. I just... I don't know, I just thought, you know, that we would go to her grave and, and pull weeds and sit around and talk about her and tell stories and laugh and cry and, you know, then we'd understand each other. And we do understand each other. <sighs> you were a funny child. Cautious but serious. A laser-like focus on the strangest things. You needed to push sometimes just to get out of your own way. When Sandrine died, we knew we'd have to keep you from fixating. And well, we didn't want that one terrible thing to be the center of your whole life. But it was. Wait. You didn't have a funeral and never talked about her and pretended like everything was okay because of me to help me. Well, you do what you can. Even if it turns out that it wasn't enough. Mom. What is it? I would have done anything for you. I still would. Sometimes loving people is all you can do.
to 